This is Let's Talk Arts and Entertainment on WMAY. Now, there are a lot of performances and a lot of theaters and a lot of live music venues that have had to cancel their shows or push them back for uh, for a while now. And uh, there is some live music coming back. And uh, somebody to talk about that with me is Betsy Butel. How are you doing, Betsy? Hi, I'm doing well. Doing well. Happy to be here. Oh, thank you. Uh, thanks for joining me. You were at the, you were the first person I ever had on this podcast, by the way. Uh, the very <laughs> first interview. You talked about Take 10. Um, I did. And, yes. And uh, you are now ha- you have another uh, musical uh, adventure now that you are with The Big Sons. Tell us all about that. Yeah. So um, I'm really, really excited about this band. Um, take 10. We, everybody had so much going on that that, and then the pandemic hit. So that kind of dissolved. And from its, you know, dissolving came this opportunity um, with a group of musicians that, I mean, honestly, I'm pinching myself to be a part of this group. Um, We're pretty much have been corralled by Michael Burnett who is a longtime Springfield live music staple. Um, He has been out as himself, of course, Um, but then he's also been with the Sons of Circumstance and um, Brooke Thomas sang with him, Brooke Thomas and the Blue Sons, which was an excellent um, blues band that they had for a while. Um, And he's kind of roped together this group of musicians that we're just ready to have a good time. Um, We definitely have the goal of bringing not only nostalgia with the music that we're going to do, but we're also kind of leaning into some unknown groups that fit into this funky, fun, toe-tapping. Our biggest goal is to bring smiles to faces and um, the music, uh, the artists that we're going to do is really kind of an interesting mix. You know, we're going to have some classics with some Allman Brothers and some Van Morrison. Uh, But then also we have a huge catalog of Aretha Franklin songs, which uh, I definitely have been putting a lot of work in. Mm -hmm. (laughs) She is not easy to sing, Um, but I'm really excited to get to do more of her catalog just because everything that she did was just hands down some of my favorites um we're also gonna do some funky covers that we've discovered this group called scary pockets on youtube and they take a lot of popular songs and they funkify them so uh we're pulling from that and then we found a couple other groups one called the california honey drops that we're going to do some of their songs they are on YouTube as well and Spotify, and um, it's kind of like the sky is the limit. You know, the big suns is <laughs> definitely not only bringing sunshine, but also we there's nothing really holding us back. We're pretty much game to play just about anything, and these musicians can play anything, and that's nice. the really cool part. That's awesome. Well, I can't wait to hear some of what you guys have done. So you guys have, have you guys started practicing yet? Um, have you guys gotten together and started? Uh, Cause I know you got a show coming up, but uh, we do. But... <laughs> <laughs> so that has definitely been a challenge. I know uh, I'm not only speaking for myself in this group, but I know a lot of other groups in the area um, have had a really hard time getting together just because of the pandemic, you know, Uh, We're limited as to when and where and how we can get together. But um, we had actually played a couple of times over the summer. We did two shows. Um, It was more like Michael Burnett and Friends. So we all played together a couple of times. I was a guest that came on. Um, Tony Young also kind of came out there both those times and Mm -hmm. sang with us. And um, after that, it was just kind of like, you know, let's just do this thing. So it's been a lot of email, a lot of Facebook Messenger, um, 
a lot of collaborating over the internet, <laughs> which, yeah, a you know, it's a beautiful on. thing, but that's kind of yeah. what, how we got to do it this, this, in this day and age. Yeah, and I think that's uh, that's definitely going to be um, just just sort of talking about that. That's definitely I think something that is going to be uh, here to stay. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about you know this or that, saying, "Well, you know, once we get back to you know, we can you know, I'll be in person and rehearsing and practicing in person is." obviously ideal but mm -hmm. for situations like these and even going forward you might say hey i i can you know we can rehearse a, at least a little bit you know over the internet uh, for something so that seems that's interesting that you guys are you guys are going to be doing that so that is great so this so this first show that you guys are doing that is in a couple of weeks where is it going to be and uh how uh are any sa safety precautions being taken definitely um i would think mm -hmm. so right yeah, so our first show is Friday, February 19th, and that's going to be indoors at Longbridge Golf Course. Now, obviously, anywhere that has any type of indoor food or drink service is operating at 50% capacity. So, um, of course, masks have to be worn when you come in, when you get to your table, just like anywhere else that we're um, seeing indoor eating and dining. Um, the same type of precautions are going to apply there. This first show is definitely we're kind of taking that as our our uh, first live, I guess, all in person together practice. <laughs> but it's a gig, so okay. we're really getting out there with that limited audience to try out, you know, these songs that we think people are really going to have a good time listening to. Nice, that's awesome. That's uh, that is that is really cool. I um. Yeah. So, so then, um, are any of these shows? Uh, we talk a little bit about streaming. Are, are any of these shows in the future going to be streamed? Maybe even ticketed streamed events, or um, are you going to have to be here in, in person to see it? You know, we haven't really discussed that quite yet. Um, I think we're really kind of banking on people being able to be there in person. Um, yeah. Our second show in February is out at Dannenberger Family Vineyards, which is a massive space. Yeah. And so that's going to allow for a lot more people to come out, even though we're going to be indoors. It's kind of an open, heated area. Um, and it's much bigger, of course. But then we won't really be back out until later in the spring when we can be in an open air venue, which, of course, is going to be safer and going to be easier to you yeah. know for people to be there we're hoping you know <laughs> we're right. we're riding yeah. the wave while we can hoping that we don't go backwards and restrictions and um but we really hadn't thought about streaming or ticketing but i may just have to put that on my to-do list <laughs> yeah i mean you never know like, you know everything's uh Everything's got to be considered, you know, put on the table nowadays. But, uh, but I, but it is great that especially then the next show you guys are doing. You said Dan and Burgers. That's you know, big open space, a lot of right. uh, chance for distancing. If people want to learn more about the Big Suns and they want to keep in touch with all the different shows that you guys will be doing in the future, updates, photos, everything like that, where can people go? So we have a Facebook page, and it's just the Big Suns. And that is going to be the main place to find all the information about where we are and what we're up to and all that good stuff. Um, and then we also have a very new, very, very new Instagram page as well. And we're on Instagram as the big sons band because the big right. sons was taken. So okay. how dare they? Uh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there's where you guys go. Instagram and Facebook, The Big Sons. Now, I also want to uh, briefly before before we go, uh, The Spirit of Lincoln, a show that you were involved in, a very good show. Uh, they're showing a couple clips from it, uh, partnering with Looking for Lincoln. Mm -hmm. uh, and th those are going to be live events on Facebook. Those are starting next week. The first scene, uh, one of the first scenes they're showing is a scene that you were in. Um, uh, tell us a little bit about what people are going to be, uh, what people can expect uh, with the with this event um, with uh, being sponsored with Looking for Lincoln. Sure. Um, so they are definitely. Uh, well, we're doing a sound check tomorrow, so All I'll right. know a little bit more of how we're going about it. Um, okay. But they are sharing these selected scenes, and then after the scene. 
um, we're going to do like a live Q&A with a group of us about our experience while working on the show. Um, I know at least for me, the show came at a time of, I guess you could say, you know, our, our country has gone through a lot of turmoil in yes. the last year. And the show really, um, it's true to its name, the spirit of Lincoln. And the scene that I was in, I was in with Tony Young and Shelly Flicker. Mm -hmm. And our scene is kind of like, um, it's three separate vignettes. And yep. then we all kind of come together and sing at the end. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope that um, you know people are on and watching with us and have that additional opportunity to see the scenes from the show that the late, great Ken Bradbury gifted us. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So make sure that you guys tune in for that event. Also follow the Big Sons on Facebook and Instagram for all yeah. the different shows and posts that you guys are going to be uh, definitely doing in the future. Betsy, thank you so much for joining me again, and we will do this again sometime soon. Sounds good. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. It is Let's Talk Arts and Entertainment on WMAY.